I know that you, you, you've got an interest in, in technology and where we're heading with technology, um, sitting from the position of a security manager. So just run us through, what, what, what are your observations and what are your concerns in that regard? It's what we're seeing now is more of a, more of a convergence of the role of the traditional security manager, which was gates, guards and guns, to a more IT focus. At Western Sydney University, for instance, with we have a, a large system of, of access control, which we have over the last 12 months handed control over to IT because with an emphasis on a, I guess, an IT end-to-end -end solution being provided through uh, a range of different things such as access control and CCTV and these sorts of things. I mean, we found that the, it's far better to have it managed by IT experts and try to have us as quasi type experts. That convergence is not without its risks, but it's for us that it's paid dividends because we have been able to focus on what we regard as core business, which is the safety of students, staff and visitors. Does that mean um, you need a, a better understanding of conveying to your tech people the security outcomes you're looking for? And if so, how do you go about that? It's certainly an important aspect of being able to, I guess, articulate where the, the risks lay. I mean, traditional uh, IT personnel don't come with that risk background. And where we have worked very hard to do is to manage expectations, both ourselves and our IT people, in bringing in specialist IT people into the security fold. Now we actually have a technical manager now who has an IT background rather than a security background who actually manages these systems in a co-shared capacity between ourselves and IT. And having that resource there has been, has really paid dividends for us in terms of being able to access, I guess, the latest in technologies, whether it be new servers, different types of equipment. We're currently trialing facial recognition as a means of access control these sorts of things but as well as that I think giving us uh, a, a greater level of comfort in the systems that we use and their fitness for purpose across the enterprise.